I mean, I've spent the last seven years of my life doing stuff I don't necessarily want to do. So uh, what's one more day, right? The seminar is on May 27th, Saturday, New York City. Uh, we did the video explaining it, I think, a month or two ago. So I'll put that right here. You guys can watch it if you want to know what it's about. Basically talking about the stuff that I am not allowed to talk about on YouTube. So send an email to frank at frank-stefano.com and... Uh, we don't get arrested for pulling someone out of their car. Uh, the seminar will still be on. But uh, if you guys emailed me like a few months ago, I will be responding to all of those emails. Uh, it's going to be $1,000 for the seminar. And I might ask for a deposit up front, but we will decide that. You know, it's not just for everyone. This is kind of special information. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the seminar further. This is probably going to be... Uh, you know, one of the last official announcements and I will be sending out some more emails and stuff. Uh, but we're going to talk about the continual, you know, war against meat climate nonsense, starting with our beloved mayor of New York City, Eric Adams. One in every five metric tons of carbon dioxide our city emits comes from food. But all food is not created equal. The vast majority, majority of food uh, that is contributing to our emission crisis lies in meat and dairy products. We already know that a plant, plant power diet is better for your physical and mental health, and I am living proof of that. But the reality is that thanks to this new inventory, we're finding out it is better for the planet. I mean, the guy looks and sounds like a dilapidated frog slobbering over his words like he's about to rub it, rub it, rub it. A, a plant based, plant, 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 plant power diet is better for your physical and mental health. And I am living proof of that. <laughs> Bro, looks like the cockroach from Men in Black is about to pop out of his body. Okay. You can't make this stuff up. I can't really talk about the climate stuff because of YouTube's new policy. I think it was reenacted like sometime last year. That's why you guys haven't been seeing me make videos about the climate and the environment anymore. Anything that goes against the mainstream consensus is considered misinformation and they're just gonna take it down. Best case scenario, the video is shadow banned. Worst case scenario, I get like a strike. Maybe if the Ministry of Truth over at YouTube wasn't so busy, they would help me shave my asshole for when the government wants to start the door-to-door -door anal swaps because they definitely don't pay me enough to get it waxed every week. I mean, I think like everyone in New York City has seen this uh, meat nonsense, anti-meat nonsense, and it targets a variety of people. You know, you have the really low IQ ones who will actually stop eating meat and eggs and go vegan. I had a USPS worker, postal uh, service worker, come by my business the other day to pick up some packages for us. And I usually offer the guy something. Um, I either tip him 10 or 20 bucks or I give him some steak. And the guy didn't want a box of steak. I was like, what kind of guy denies a box of steak? And I asked him if he was vegan. He said no. Maybe he knows who I am. That's why I didn't want to get into an argument. But I do sell vegan cookies. So maybe next time I'll have to give the, the postal worker some vegan cookies. But the point is, people actually believe this anti-meat nonsense, as stupid as it sounds to, to a lot of you. Then you have the normies who might just do what they want, you know, continuing to eat meat and eggs. But, you know, the quality of those animal products in the general grocery store is really, really low. It's crappy. They're still poisoning themselves. And you might even have some of those normies just try to justify going vegan to, like, reduce the cost of their groceries they might not really believe it that a vegan diet is better for them but when they see that they're not having to buy you know 15 20 pound steak they might just feel better about it i mean you guys know how much of a fan i am of the grain fed corn stuffed grade angus prime beef as much as i enjoy the beef 
the feedlot conventional corn and soy fed pork and she can leave a lot to be desired especially the the egg and dairy products so i mean it's arguable but people are definitely better having some animal protein in their diet than none at all this is really just some more controlled opposition nonsense to create fear people arguing like two sides back and forth the republicans versus the democrats the chad meat eaters versus the cuck liberal soy boys so there's little truth to this you know it's creating two sides that are both wrong and uh, both of them are going to grow tits now on to better and brighter or well i guess not so much brighter things i've been getting a lot of emails of people asking me if we use like an mrna vaccine in our meat and the answer is no the only mrna vaccine that exists is the saliva ingrained in my tonsils from the Dominican girl I hung out with last week. <laughs> There's no such thing as mRNA injections in animals in the U anywhere, any country, not just the US. And I don't know if there is some like controlled opposition fear mongering shill saying this. I don't know who has spread that information, but it was so bad and so viral that the National Cattlemen's Association actually had to make a statement on. Washington, April 5th, 2023. Today, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association released a statement in regard to false information circulating on social media about the use of mRNA vaccines in cattle. There are no current mRNA vaccines licensed for use in beef cattle in the United States. Cattle farmers and ranchers do vaccinate cattle to treat and prevent many diseases, but presently, None of these vaccines include mRNA technology. Now, all of the meat we sell on Frankie Strange Meat, you know, they don't use any vaccines whatsoever, and the animals are grass-fed, living a natural life. If you guys want, like, the guaranteed 100% fresh as possible meat, you know, we're working with a local Amish farmer uh, on, on a, like, a bi-weekly basis to do the fresh, low histamine meat. And, uh, like, those cows have only seen one person their entire life, let alone a vaccine, so... It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know if there's any companies out there like advertising, oh, our meat isn't vaccinated, so be careful who you buy from. That's some like straw man, martyr, Amos Miller, cocksucker dog shit. Bunch of fucking liars. I'm not going to get angry today. I'm gonna, I told, I'm going to be polite. I'm a gentleman today. I'm a gentleman. We'll do that next time if these secret society degenerates keep placing fake orders on my business. Fucking cocksuckers. Anyway point is no i did see an article and i haven't looked too much into it but uh, apparently there was some type of mrna stuff going on with pork some years ago but i don't think any of my viewers would ever eat, consider eating feedlot pork uh, like we have the spanish iberico stuff on frankie strange meat that uh frankie strange meat that's miles ahead of any pork uh, in the u.s but to my understanding no like you obviously don't want to be eating conventional feedlot meat and yeah, I mean, if these carnivore dieters, if some of them are eating the grain-fed meat, that, that's still a concern. There's problems with that meat beyond mRNA vaccines and all that type of stuff. So, um, you know, th there's options. There's options. We have, you know, only high-quality stuff on Frankie's syringe meat. So when, when people email me that type of stuff, I don't even feel like addressing it because uh, I've asked them for sources. Like, these people email me. I'll say, hey, where did you hear that from? Where did you hear that from? And they won't say anything. So I, I don't know what the deal is, but... Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, as I said earlier, just email frank at frank com if you guys would like to, to attend the seminar in New York. And you guys can go to frank com if you would like to uh, support me through my businesses. But as usual, if you guys can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.